everybody and welcome back. Just, just to let you know, we do practice safety here. Hey everybody, how are you doing today? Welcome back, happy new year, 2024. Uh, earlier, I had a video that I showed you that had this propane here and a regulator, high pressure regulator in one of my stoves. And the reason for that the purpose was to show you and demonstrate how you can take the high pressures of propane and bring them down to the pressures of butane. The reason why that's important is these wonderful little butane stoves, I love running them, they're nice to have, but sometimes the weather gets cold or you just really want to have uh, some type of fuel that is less expensive or more widely available, and this is it. So this little piece here, this regulator is a high pressure regulator, and what it does is it takes the pressure from the high end side and brings it down to the lower side. I've shown that in a different video. You can look for it up there somewhere if you want to see it. Uh, this will go more in depth. So you do not have to have this part here or this part here. So this is the purpose of today's demonstration is I built this so you do not have to build it. So what this does is I've got a high pressure side over here. It goes up to 3,000 kilopascals or 450 PSI for the uh, Imperial folks. Okay, this is a high pressure regulator. It's the type of regulator that you would have um, in this particular circumstance, but not for a barbecue grill. This is 200 kilopascals and that's uh, 30 PSI, okay? This right here is the low pressure side, it's a gauge, and it shows uh, 300 kilopascals or 45 PSI, so basically 10% of this one is what you'll see here. Over here I've got two valves, which are ball valves, allow me to turn on and off this uh, fuel. All right, so what you can do is you turn on the pressure over here for propane, and you'll see. It's quite high. It's uh, 500 kilopascals or 510, about 100 PSI. So we go through the regulator and then over here on the low pressure side, you'll see that we're hovering about uh, 225, 220 kilopascals, a little bit higher than 30 PSI. Uh, again, that's okay. It's, uh, it's close enough. It's much lower. So what that does for you is that you've got a lot more control. So you can turn on this stove and you can simmer it really easily, which is just wonderful. Or you can go up really high if you want, but um, there it is at the simmer mode. And what's really cool is you go over here, turn off the ball valve on the high pressure side and you can watch those pressures drop. So there goes the propane on this side. And now we're going on the low pressure side on the propane and now we've dropped down to zero. When you do that, if you're having fun, just make sure you turn off the stove. Okay, so that's it. Uh, that just kind of demonstrates the um, what this does. Again, I built all this so you don't have to do that. I've invested the time and the money and the effort so you can watch this. I haven't seen any videos that show pressures for butane versus the propane in a more explainable way. So what we can do is I've turned everything off here. I will hook up the butane. I can hook it up to this refillable butane container. So I've got some connectors here. I have a, a Lendl valve to propane type connection. So we'll just go ahead and demonstrate that. We'll put it on here. So we'll just connect it. So what that does is it uh, allows you to connect butane devices to propane appliances, which is kind of cool. And then we'll just go ahead and hook it up here. This is the reusable tank. So I'm just gonna hook it up to the Lindel valve. It's always easy to put on there with no leakage, but they're always harder to put on there without leakage. Uh, all right, so here you go. Turn it on, nothing here. Goes through the regulator at a lower pressure. And as you can see, we're not exactly where we were with this but uh, we're in the right neighborhood. So it's um, 160 kilopascals, 25 PSI, still within the range for this thing to operate. I'll go ahead and burn off some of that 
gas that's in here. So we'll turn this back on. Ignite it. There we go. Turn off the stove. Okay, turn that off. Now we'll move on to the next part here, which is the bayonet connector. So what's really neat about this is you put this on here and the bayonet connector is held in place by these legs. And I'm gonna go ahead and connect the Lindel valve first because it's uh, just easier to connect. And then we'll put the bayonet connector on here. They're very easy to put on these um, butane tanks. I mean, it's literally just put it on and twist it. Okay. So again, turn on the high pressure side, turn on the low pressure side. And as you can see, this one here that's colder has a lower pressure. So just a little bit below 150 kilopascals, just slightly above 20 PSI. Okay, we'll turn off the gas. We'll burn this off of here. All right, I think it's really cool to watch that pressure drop like that. What do you all think? Okay, so then we'll go to the next one. <clears throat> this is the warmer container. I'm expecting it to be higher pressure. So quick connect. That's what's so nice about the bayonet connectors. Connect here. So we've opened up the high pressure side, bringing in gas that's lower than the regulator so it passes through without it being encumbered by anything. And then, yeah, we're pretty much the same as this one here. So what do we have? Uh, 24 on the PSI side, I'll say that first for you, and about 157 kilopascals. So again, uh, very close in terms of pressures. Uh, you know, you, you get a lot better uh, performance out of this thing when you keep the pressure down to what it's expecting. And you can see here with butane, it does go down as you turn on the pressure, but because propane is so much higher, you don't get that drop in the pressure. So that's a nice thing to have as well. I went ahead and turned this off. I'll go ahead and open that up, Get off of there. So again, um, lots of neat little options you have here. Let me just turn off all these items. Okay, take off the connector. Now, a little bit about this refillable butane tank. Uh, I know that there's a lot of people out there that like to refill them using the disposable versions here, but these aren't refillable. They're really not meant to be. Over here, this is meant to be refillable. It's um, very strong. It's butane only. I would not put propane in it, but uh, basically you put your refill adapter on here <clears throat> like this. I use this bayonet connector right here and then the tank on top. It's nice if this tank down here is much cooler, like if you put it in the freezer, you'll get a better transfer into there. But uh, I really like this thing, it's nice. So this is your option too, if you wanna take this <coughs> and have the option to refill it later on from a larger tank. Um, or you can just take these and use the connector. It's just, you got lots of options out there. Um, this right here, allows you to take this type of tank and turn it into that type of connector. So this is nice if you have a torch, for example, a butane torch. And on this small but uh, propane tank, uh, you can get quite a few meals out of that on the stove. I'll just use it for this torch right now. So real nice to have. You can go with the larger torch as well. Same manufacturer. So very neat to have. Anyways, there it is. Uh, if you all have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to let me know. I try to get back to you as soon as possible on any questions you might have. And I really appreciate you watching this and Happy New Year, everybody. Wish you all success.